In this video, we're going to go over your opportunities and specifically how do you create the listing and buyer experiences. So I'm going to come here to listing and I'm actually going to start with active because that's probably the point when my consumers, once my listing is active, are really going to be involved in that process in the consumer app. So I'm going to come here to active. And the way you're going to help your consumer with what's next and what's happening is around the different stages and phases inside of the command system. So here I am under active. Now you will have others like staging and different things here. Now I'm going to tell you, you should edit what everything is here to create that experience. Meaning our consumer app is going to tell Mr. Seller, here's what's next. Here's where you're at in your journey, kind of like what Uber does to tell you where the car is on the way to get you or where you're going. So this is how you're going to create that experience. And there's two parts to it. First, you're going to be moving the car between each of these different phases and stages. Now, that might be a little cumbersome today because you didn't understand why are we doing that? Why would I move my contacts between these different phases and stages? It's because that's what the consumer app is going to tell them is next. Just like if I were using the Uber app to tell me where they are and when is the next step. So this is how you're going to create that and you're going to come here and do edit stages. Now I've already edited some of these and yours might look different. So I was thinking about it because I think it started with staging and then it went to showings, negotiation. So you'll notice I added some extra because what's my consumer experience once my listing is active. So I wanted to make sure we did the pre-listing and I put it here mainly because of my checklist. So I edited the first step. I called it pre-listing. It does ask for a probability score. So all that means is how close am I to getting paid? Am I probable to get more money or less money as we move along the way? So this to me is getting me closer and I basically made my numbers kind of go in order unless it's a step that would take me backwards. So I edited the names first and you can add new names here if you need to add another stage. And you can also do your checklist, which we'll do in a second. So my thought was, okay, I'm going to have my pre-listing checklist. Like, let's stage the house. Let's get everything ready. I want to have my photography all done. So I have a checklist items for my photographer and what's going. Then we get to the point where we're showing things, negotiations, appraisals. I probably can add one here about adding to the MLS. This is meant to give you some inspiration. Ultimately, you're going to want to create this and create your own unique experience. So that way, that controls the consumer experience. So I've got pre-listing here, and then I have the ability to manage my checklists. Your checklist might say zero out of zero. So we're going to click here and say, okay, what do you need to do? So, well, if it's a pre-listing, I need to schedule my stager so that we can get out there. I want to get the seller's disclosure so I don't forget to grab that. And then I want to order the sign for the yard. So that might be the three things I want to make sure that I do here. If you had another one, you can also add that here. I might just ask them, confirm best method oops to contact client with updates right what's the best method would you like me to email you on friday sir would you like me to call you text you what is that method so i can get that in here you can rearrange the order of these by just moving them and then once you're actually in the opportunity you'll be able to set a date and time stamp of when these things are due for now you're just giving the checklist of what is needed so that you never forget something so I'm going to save that one. For the photography, I said, okay, well, I need to schedule the photos, verify the photos, and then upload the photos to the MLS. Now I'm going to add another stage here, and I'm going to add it in between photography and showings. And that would just be putting listing in MLS. So that's going to give me a probability of 65%. So I'll go ahead and save that. And now I need to move this, though, because that should be after photography and before showings. So that's what we're doing next. And then I can come here and say, okay, what is it? Verify all the listing details. Okay, that's one item. What else do I want to add? Um, enter into the MLS. Verify syndication. How many of you do that? When your listing goes live, do you go to the websites like Zillow and Trulia and Real.com to verify it went everywhere it's supposed to? Because I promise you, if you don't, your consumers are. And if they call you first about this, that's not a great consumer experience. All right, so now I've added that. And now I've got eight steps here. Well, technically seven, 
because the one for legacy, by the way, leave this one alone. This is here in case you move over any active listings from dot loop. That's what the legacy box is for. However, these other ones will be my ability to control the consumer experience. So when we list it, we're gonna have a pre-listing stage. Then I'm gonna move you to photography. Then we're gonna move it to putting the listing in the MLS. Then we're gonna to move to have showings. Then we're gonna to move to have negotiations. We're gonna have our appraisal, final walkthrough, right? What is that listing and buying experience? Hopefully this gave you some guidance. You're gonna do that for each one of these stages. So if I come back to active, What's my under contract things that I need to do? Technically, under contract would be my appraisal. So I notice I have appraisal in here twice. So I'm actually gonna edit that list now and say, okay, actually, we don't have to worry about appraisal here or final walkthrough. Those are in another part. And we don't have to do negotiations. If it's an active listing, I just need to do these first three. So I'm actually gonna delete these. This is why we do this live. That's why we want to bring that value to you. And I'm going to get rid of these because they should be when we're under contract. What's the next stage? So I want to put in the MLS, put it there, come back to my active. And then what happens when we're under contract, right? That's when we're going to have our escrow inspections, appraisal, financing, clear to close, right? Everything that's here in that selling experience. Then once we're closed, we're going to have our closed or whatever else. Do you have your pre-listing, pre-closing checklist, right, to verify that they did everything before they close, like the final walkthrough, which that's where it should live. And did you do it when we've got our um, post-closing, right? Did you follow up with your client? Did you go and check them out? This is the most important part around the consumer app because this controls the experience. Apps today do not tell the consumer what's next or what to expect. This is your ability to create that unique opportunity to tell them where we're at in the process, what's coming, and what's going to happen next. I'm sure we will evolve that and to include more around the consumer, like assigning things to the consumer to do, like decluttering and things like that. Remember to bring your license to the closing table. Those would be great things to tell the consumer, and I'd love to be able to tell them through the consumer app. So that'll be coming soon for now. What is your process when you have an appointment for a listing? What's your process when you're active, under contract and closed? And you're going to want to do that for both the listing side and the buyer side. That's what you should be working on right now to get this ready. I know we're working on a lot of things in the system, but that's going to be the biggest part around the consumer app. So go ahead and create your listings, your buyers, and everything that you need around that process. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. And follow me on YouTube and KB Connect today.